Hello everybody, this is your favorite YouTuber, your favorite camp counselor, your favorite teacher, your favorite all around dude, Mr. Escobar, here with another video. Okay, so uh, today is Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's Mexican Independence Day, I believe. I, I gotta look that up, you know. I, I should know this. I, I, I believe it's, anyways, I'll, I'll correct myself after this uh, portion of this video. But if it's Mexican Independence Day, Day. you know what I like to do on Mexican Independence Day go to the zoo of course <laughs> I didn't plan that right anyways today in request from some of my students at Alliance number 12 they wanted me uh, to go to the zoo and last year I made a video on uh, in which I went to the LA Zoo and um, I had a great time. Unfortunately, uh, my car um, stopped working and I had to get it towed and everything. And it, it was a long day. But today, I'm, I'm actually at a, at a location that I have never been to. But I knew, I have always known that it exists. It's the Santa Ana, California Zoo. It's been here for many years. And, and it's a very, uh, from what I've seen from the map, it's a medium-sized, small zoo. Kind of reminds me of the Fresno Zoo. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm gonna check it out and I want you to come with me. Uh, this is the first time I have ever been here and uh, I, I definitely love the fact that you're here experience that with me. So uh, hey uh, Let's get going. It's already been two minutes. Okay. Come on. Let's go right now. You know what? Um, yeah, I looked it up today is Mexican Independence Day. Oh boy. I should have known that I, th I always forget or maybe uh, oh Wow very disappointing Mr. Escobar but yes happy Mexican Independence Day and so to celebrate I'm at the Santa Ana Zoo yeah so it looks like the the zoo just opened about a couple minutes ago so I really like the uh, entry to the zoos you know because it's very very nice very peaceful I'm not having been inside yet you know so um yeah I'm gonna go go over there and get my ticket and see what lies in front of me okay I'm in and I'm uh, very excited you know it's my first time here so this is the uh, map of the zoo right here and uh, as you can see it's kind of a you know not a big zoo but I'm pretty sure they have a lot of awesome things in here so let's go check it out so of course, I'm just gonna go follow the first thing over here and uh let's see what's out there let's venture out Let's have an adventure. Let's go right now. Um, yeah, this is not a a real zoo animal, but um, okay. That's a very interesting, fantastic frog. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later, buddy. Wow. Check this out. Exploration outposts. Okay. Looks like this is gonna be a section for the kiddos. So they can learn about butterflies and other stuff. Pretty cool. I really like the scenery around here. Everything's like tiki-ish, if that makes any sense. And um, it feels like you're walking literally in the rainforest. Not literally, more like an amusement park rainforest, I should say. Oh my gosh, like I'm an expert in the rainforest. Anyways, yeah, so it's, it's a very peaceful uh, zoo, I haven't seen any zoo animals yet. A lot of uh, just, you know, walking around deals here. But I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll see uh, some kind of animal. But I remember I just came in. So, yeah, let's check out what's over there. Okay, look. It's not every day I see an anteater. So, I'm just blown away, you know. I don't remember the last time I seen an ant eater was last year at the uh, L, LA Zoo, and um, they're really unique uh, animals. Um, this is how close I can get to one, so um, pretty cool. These these are really really cool looking animals. So yeah, they have an ant eater here. That's pretty cool. Right behind that tree, right behind my shot. But trust me, it was there. Okay. Oh, there he comes again. Or is it a she? I don't know. I just think it's cool. All right, my first animal here at the uh, Santa Ana Zoo. So you know what's in front of me. 
That's a bona fide camel. What's so unique about this zoo, you this is the this is the five freeway, you see that? Right there, that's the zoo. Or I think that's the 91. I yeah, it's the 91 freeway, I believe. Anyways, cars are are going back and forth over there, but and I must have taken this road a lot of times throughout my lifetime, but I never knew right behind it there'll be a camel. Check it out. I have never ridden a camel before. I've never ridden a horse before. I'm not afraid to do so. I just didn't have, never had the, really the opportunity to do so. Maybe I will, but check it out. A camel. That's awesome. It looks like that camel's chowing down. Pretty cool. Now I did a little close up and I don't know if you can see the uh, primate there but that's the one that's making all that sound you see that and it has been going non-stop I've been standing here and I have no idea why it looks like maybe it's hungry sounds like me look at that oh wow sounds like me when I'm hungry <laughs> and there's this little buddy up there there we go crazy All right, check this one out. This one's called the White Face Skahi. Um, it comes from the northern region of South America, and um, yeah, check it out. He's just chilling. You know, it's a very nice overcast day here, and uh, yeah, just he's looking around, and um, looks like I met a new friend. So, hi, new friend. Very wonderful to meet you on this wonderful Saturday. Check it out. All right, check it out. This is a white-handed gibbon, just hanging around. Uh, it's a, it's an ape, and it says here um, it stands. It's the only ape that stands and walk upright, usually rising their arms above their heads for balance. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Just chilling. He's just hanging around. Look at him. That's just. <laughs> You gotta understand, Mr. Esquire don't see this every day, you know, so, uh, looks like I met another friend. I'm just, just hanging around, just chilling. Hi. <laughs> All right, this one's pretty interesting. This is called the white face whistling duck. And uh, right now, as you can see, their white faces are just chilling right now. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And they have their own waterfall over here. You see that? And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I've never seen uh, this breed of duck. There's thousands and thousands of breeds of ducks out there. And they're always pretty unique when you get to learn uh, about them. So, yeah, white face whistling duck who has a nice pad. This place looks better than my place. My gosh, <laughs> you guys are lucky. This is pretty cool. This is Spirit. It's a bald eagle. It was, it's a rescue from Alaska. So, boys and girls, you may or may not know that not only this is our national bird, but they are a native uh, all over Alaska and, and they do come from North America. So that's why it's adopted as our country bird. But it's not every day I get to get close up to a bald eagle. I, I you know, these cages, ah. You know, but pretty, pretty cool nevertheless. Okay, so here's the deal of the uh, Santa Ana Zoo. Um, it's a very small zoo. Um, a lot of portions of it is not open. It's going to be open later on this year from what I'm reading. They have, they'll have a, a, a section where you'll be able to see like, uh, ostriches and and um, other uh, 
grassland animals that how they present and there's also a mini train ride so um, yeah it's been here for years and um, I'm just I'm blown away because right around is like the freeway and they got some housing um, uh, it's it's you know look they have some housing buildings right here you see that so it's or yeah these are housing yeah so it's it's a very unique spot to have a, a zoo you know um, but I'm enjoying it it's it, it's a, a very uh, enjoyable time and it's a wonderful Saturday so um, yeah let's go to the gift shop and see what I can get Okay, so here's their gift shop. It's not as big. It's pretty cool, small, but they do have some stuff here. I'm looking for something that I can give away to you students. So uh, let me see what's something that's pretty cool so I can raffle off as a prize. Uh, let's check over here. But before I find something to uh, give away to you students, check it out. Look at this line. It's pretty cool. How much is this line? $17 for a lion? Come on. How about an elephant? How, how much is an elephant? They're looking... How much? How much? How much? 12 bucks. That's not a bad deal. I don't even know where I put this stuff if I bought any of it. So, ooh, look, a turkey. Pretty awesome. How much? How much? How much? 10 bucks. No way. Oh, wow. oh cool. A penny machine. Let's try it out. Now many of you may or may not know, Mr. Escobar actually owns a penny smash machine and it's in my actual, it's in my living room right now. It's it works. I just want to get it restored. I'm I'm thinking about getting restored this year, but I do uh have a, a good collection of these things. So yeah, this is gonna be added to my collection because I own one. So uh, I'll do a, a future video on it uh, sometime down the road. But this is uh that's what I got. Okay, so this is what I got. I got five Santa Ana Zoo patches. Try saying that five times. Santa Ana Zoo patches uh, for you students here. So, how do you earn these patches? What is the uh, what is the giveaway? What is what is uh, what do you got to do? Okay, this is what you got to do. Write me a half a page of what is your favorite animal it could be anything is it a lion is it a zebra is it a llama is it a horse is it a, a dolphin is it a whale is it an elephant i mean did i say elephant already who knows just write me half a page on what is your favorite uh animal and what you can do is um go ahead and, and give that to me the first five students who gives me uh that report will get one of these patches okay so Good luck. Goodbye, Santa Ana Zoo. Until we meet again. Okay, boys and girls, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, the Santa Ana Zoo was definitely a nice visit. Uh, it's been open since 1952. Uh, so this is my first time here, and I was honored and glad that you were here uh, to experience that with your favorite teacher, Mr. Escobar. Hey, I've told you this before. And I'm going to keep telling you until it gets into your cabeza, okay? All of you are awesome, okay? Each and every single one of you boys and girls are amazing, okay? Always dream big, okay? Don't have, don't have any limitations uh, within that cabeza of yours. You can do whatever you like, you know? And never forget that this guy right here, you know, has you up here and definitely has you down here okay because mr escobar loves you and as always mr escobar is the greatest man that has ever lived it's true google it okay bye all right time to go home uh-oh i think the battery's out Oh man, am I stuck at the zoo parking lot again for the second year in a row? <sighs> Better call AAA.